how to burn CDs, writing files to a CD. See if you can burn CDs on your computer. Look on the front of the device drawer. There should be a sticker or important on the drawer. If it has one of the following descriptions, it will work for burning CDs. CDR, it stands for Compact Disc Recordable. CDRW, this stands for Compact Disc Record and Write. This lets you use both standard CDs and rewritable CDs. If your drive only says CD-ROM or DVD-ROM, you cannot burn a disk with that drive. There are other types of drives available and the acronyms can be mind-blowing. But as long as you see some combination of CDR in there, you're good to go to the next step. So have a look at the first draw and if there is imprint of CDR, CDRW or DVDRW, you can burn CDs. Get a recordable CD disc. A CDR compact disc recordable can be burned once and cannot be erased. This type of disc is usually used for permanent storage. For example, a music CD, a picture CD or any other type of data that you want to keep permanently. CDRW is compact disc rewritable, is rewritable optical disc format. This type of disc can be burned, erased and then burned again. This type of disc is usually used for temporary data storage. Decide on the type of CD you plan to burn. There are many different types of CDs that can be burned and how you proceed depends upon which type you are going to burn. Music. This type of CD that normally burn for use in a home or automobile CD player like the one in your car. Data. This type of CD is most often used to store files that can be used by a computer and is similar to standard hard drive. Use it to store writing documents, spreadsheets, databases and other file types. Note that while you can store music files on a data CD, you cannot use a standard or home automobile CD player. MP3 This is data CD containing only .mp3 composed music file. Because it is actually a standard data CD, only CD players that specifically support MP3 playback will be only able to play the music. The advantage is that you can about five times as many MP3 on a CD that you can store on a music CD. Disk image. A disk image is a file that contains an exact copy of a disk. The most common type of a disk image is ISO which simply means the exact copy of the original disk on your hard drive. One can burn CD from the .iso image and create a usable CD. Decide on what software you will use to burn your CD. There are many different programs that are designed to burn CDs. Some are built into the computer's operating system, while others are individual programs. These programs range from 
very simple to very complex. Some of these are free while others have to be purchased. As these varies by manufacturer, it's the best to check the documentation that comes with your computer and to get the details from the user's guide. Burn your CD. Once you have figured out that you can burn a disk and you have got the software to burn the disk, it's now time to get down to the actual burning. The steps will vary depending upon what software you use but the general process goes like this. Open your CD drive drawer, press on the small rectangular button over there and place the CD into the tray. Press the drawer to close it. Launch your CD burning software. Follow the on-screen instructions and add content to your CDs. Click on burn button and wait while the computer does its CD burning thing.